Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are unbagging the Ipsy for July. I'm so excited to see what is in here. Um, now my Glam Bag Plus is stuck somewhere in New Jersey, so I have no idea when I'll be getting that. Um, I actually do also have my BoxyCharm, and I'm gonna try and, you know, uh, do at the end really quickly. Uh, my Premium hasn't even shipped, so who knows when I'll get that one either. <laughs> so I definitely, I'm gonna give it a couple more days, and then I'm gonna reach out to them and see where the heck my stuff is um, but without further ado let's go ahead and open up July's Ipsy because I feel some stuff outside yes oh 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 that's a good one we're gonna save that for just a second because I already see what that is uh, I think that was my add-on okay so we got some things outside of the bag. Uh, the first is a brush. Um, I'm definitely positive that this is from like the SL Glam uh, collection because this is the way her brushes look all the time. They have the glitter and the handle and the little speck right here. Uh, yes, it does say um, Miss Glam on here. This is the Precise Eye Brush, the E25. Um, I actually like this brand. There's some really good brushes that have come in my Ipsy bags, so uh, super excited to have this. You guys know I love brushes, so very excited to have this in here, and that tells me that this is going to be a good bag. The next item that we have is outside of the bag. It is, oh lord. <laughs> Um, I cannot say the brand because it is a foreign to me. So it's a um, peeling radiance pads. I'm just going to show you what it is because I, there's no way I will murder the name of this. So these are the brand, this is the brand right here. But this is also vegan and cruelty free. So this says there's 10 pads in here. I do like the fact that this is resealable right here. So even if I tear this open and I use one, I can seal it back up so nothing is wasted. So I'm actually really excited about that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to test those out. Okay, so the last item that was outside of the bag, uh, this was actually an add-on. And I got this for like, what, $18, I think it was something like that something extremely cheap and this is an extremely expensive brand this is the luna sleeping night oil from sunday riley i have heard some excellent things about this and when i saw that this was on sale and it was the full size i knew i knew i had to get it so uh i cannot wait to test this out uh, this says, Luna works throughout the night to deliver youthful-looking, luminous, even-toned skin in the morning. Retinol ester reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging, fine lines, and uneven texture, age, spots, dryness, and dullness. Everything I need for my skin right now. Balanced with blue tansy and German uh, chamomile essential oils, both rich and soothing, blue azul... Azul? I... I I can't pronounce that to neutralize surface redness and the signs of sensitivity now I actually do not have on uh, foundation today so you can see I do have some redness um, so yeah this actually hits all the right spots and everything that I'm looking for so hopefully I like it have you guys even tried this out if you have let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it how did it work for you i would love to know and finally on to the bag so this is what the bag looks like this month um you know i like the little front on it it's super cute i do like the fact that it has a little airplane tab on it that's super cute it did come a little scratched up but you know i really don't keep these bags too much anyway i usually just save them and pack them full of stuff for my giveaways so we only have a couple items left the first item we have is, ooh, from Siasi London. I actually really like that brand. It is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Well, that sounds lovely, and I love watermelon. So this is actually cruelty-free and vegan as well. Ah, oh, smells like, you guys know that, like, 
bubble gum that smelled like watermelon. It was like a really chunky one. It smells just like that. Mmm, so good. And you can see it's like all shiny. I'm not really a lip oil type of person, but I'm actually really excited to test this out and see if maybe they can change my mind. The next item we have is, what is this? From Beauty For Real. This is a lip cream in the shade Really Red. I like the packaging on here. It's very sleek. Oh yes, and this is like a blue toned red, which is my ultimate favorite shade of red. Um, so I'm really excited to have that. It smells nice. And there is your swatch. Oof, that is pigmented. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be perfect for the fall time. I, I mean, reds are good for any time, but I typically wear them in the fall and the winter. So I'm excited to test this one out. All right, see. and the very last item is from Koki Cosmetics. I believe this is the one that I chose. Um, I do want to try more of that brand. They don't really sell them uh, where I live, so I haven't been able to see anything in person. Uh, this is the Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. And the packaging on this, it actually reminds me of like a Stila packaging down to the T. <laughs> like the shape, the inside of it um, looks just like a Stila glitter shadow. Let's see how pigmented this is. Oh wow, that's really pretty. That is a really, really pretty color. Can you imagine that all over the lid? Wow. All right, I am super excited for this. I'm definitely gonna have to do a look with it very, very soon. That's just so pretty. Wow. Wow, <laughs> sorry, I'm like all in love. Okay, so really quickly, let's just go over the Ipsy bag to show you guys what I got for the month of July. So we got the Koki Liquid Eyeshadow, which is beautiful. I cannot wait to get this on my lid and just ah, sparkle and shine. We got the Ciate London Lip Oil that smells like watermelon and absolutely just smells so yummy. Cannot wait to get this on my lips. Uh, we got the Beauty For Real Lip Cream in a beautiful shade. The Peeling Radiance Pads, which is something I've never tried before, so I'm super excited to try this. And of course, my favorite <laughs> brush. So I actually really, really like this month. I think they did a really good job. Hopefully my Glam Bag Plus arrives very soon because I cannot wait to see what is in that. So that's it for this Ipsy Unbagging. If you guys want to stick around for the quick BoxyCharm unboxing, then just keep watching. If not, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I do have a giveaway going on. Make sure you guys go check it out, enter, and um, that announcement for the winner is coming up very soon. So without further ado, BoxyCharm, the month of July, even though it's like super late. <laughs> Better late than never, right? All right, so the first item I see is from Touch and Soul. I'm actually really excited to see something in here from Touch and Soul. I have their moisturizer that I use, um, their No Pore Bloom Primer. I do have a couple items that I really enjoy by this brand, so that's really exciting. Uh, this is the Glassy Skin Balm. Skin Balm. A ultra hydrating priming skin balm with sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. Well alrighty then. I will definitely have to test this out. So this is what the packaging looks like here. Very nice. And then, oh cute. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. It looks a lot smaller on the inside. Ooh, that's a lot different than I thought it would be. Oh, and of course it smells just like the moisturizer. Absolutely amazing. So it's like a cream texture. I'm not really sure what I was expecting. Um, I would say kind of like their moisturizer, which is like a gel liquidy texture. That's something that I was thought it would be, but I actually like the fact that it was a, like a cream. So I cannot wait to test this out and see 
how it works. The next item we have, I'm actually super excited for. I have wanted one of these for like forever, but I just never bought one. Like I'd go to the store and I'd have it in my cart. And I'm like, you know, I don't really need it. I have a lot of brushes. I can just, you know, switch brushes or wash my brush or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> this is a quick color switch dry makeup brush cleanser from Lavish. So I've always been really, really interested. But uh, yeah, I guess this is like supposed to be reusable and you like wash the inside or something like that. So when I'm doing a look and I don't have to switch brushes constantly, I can actually use that. So this is gonna be really helpful and now I don't have to buy one. Yeah. Another item I have in the box is from Clean Skin. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Once again, and the Watermelon and Green Tea Pineapple. That actually sounds like a really nice combination. Um, so it says, uh, as a booster, mix three drops to enhance your cream or serum. It can be applied in the morning and evening. Or you can use this as a serum. Apply three drops directly to the face and neck after cleansing. So, oh wow. Talk about like bougie packaging. First of all, it's glass, so I need to be careful. Uh, second of all, mm, this just looks really, really nice. I'm interested to see what it smells like. Watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Better smell good. Oh yeah. I can definitely smell the green tea, maybe a little bit of pineapple, but not so much the watermelon. But either way, I'm actually really excited to have this. What now? What is this supposed to do? So this is the super potent vitamin C brightening booster supercharges your cream or serum to firm and brighten the appearance of the skin while naturally gives you a younger regenerated look. Works for me. All right. <laughs> I cannot wait to see if this baby actually works. So super excited for this. We got two items left and this is another item from Siate London super excited to have that like I said I love this brand uh, this is the everyday vacay dewy coconut setting mist Ooh, I like the smell of coconut so this could actually be really really good for me I do have a lot of setting sprays right now though all right so this is the packaging right here I actually really like that and let's see how it sprays first. Ooh. Okay, I definitely smell the coconut. If you guys have the um, the Glow Recipe watermelon spray, uh, it reminds me of that. The actual, the mist does because it's so fine. Let's go ahead. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, I am loving the way that this smells. So yeah, <laughs> happy with that too. All right, and the last item in the box is a palette. Yes, sorry, eyeshadow palettes are like my number one favorite. Uh, this is the Pure Festival 12 piece pressed pigment palette. Very, very excited for that. I like Pure Cosmetics. Okay, so this is cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and it is good for six months. Maybe that's because it's a pressed pigment palette. Ooh, there's some fun colors in here. I like that pop of like bright pink. Definitely can go neutral. You can do colorful looks with this. I like the fact that it has a mirror. That's super awesome. Um, Especially if the palette is light like this, I love to be able to hold the palette and actually do my makeup in the mirror that it has. So that always actually is a plus in my book. Let's do a couple swatches really quickly. Utopia, that is a really pretty color. Oh, so soft, you guys, like soft. Um, let's do this turn it up bright color. A little chunky. Let's do the purple. And go ahead and do the blue. That one's a little chunky too, but it's still really, really pretty. Some good pigmentation on these. <gasps> that color is even prettier than I thought it was. Look, it's like a blue green. Oh, so pretty. 
you can see the chunkiness oh did you just see it fall but yeah there's some chunkiness right there oh, wow that is so pretty oh yes I'm gonna have to do a look with this mmm I love eyeshadows. <laughs> They're just so much fun and just to sit here and think of all the things that I could create with it makes me really happy. Okay, so really quickly I'm going to run through BoxyCharm and show you guys everything that I got all together. Uh, so we got the Festival palette which I'm really excited for. Very pigmented, very soft, little chunky, nothing that I can't handle. Uh, so really, really happy with this. We have the um, Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. The Color Switch, which oh, I'm so excited to finally have one of these. The uh, Setting Spray from Ciate London. And of course, the Clean Skin Vitamin C Booster. So I think this was a really good box, you guys. Like I'm super, super happy with this. I hate that it was so late. Um, that I couldn't do a video on its own, but you know, it is what it is. Nobody controls the mail, but, but they still haven't shipped my premium box. BoxyCharm, if you're watching, which I doubt you are, you need to get on that. <laughs> Please. I paid for it. I want it. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you. Don't forget to enter the giveaway that I have going on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.